Okay, gentlemen, you know, last week was ladies week. This week is for you specifically, you know, and this, uh, this video probably not going to make you feel all that good, but then again, it might actually prompt you to think just a little differently. Stay tuned. So let me just cut right to the point. Please pay very, very special attention to this. There was a study done years ago of people that were retired over the age of 75. And the question that was posed to those people was this. If you could look back on your life and change anything about it, what would you change? The top two answers, okay, are you ready for this? Number one, work less and play way more. You know, I can relate to that. Have some fun, right? Second top answer, take more risks. Now here's the scary part about that story. Let's assume you're 35, 45 right now. And if I asked you the same question, would you have given me one of those two answers, if not both? Now that is scary. Imagine yourself, you're already given the answer and you're 30 years younger than those people that were polled. So my advice today is what? Try something completely new. My motto is observe the masses and do the opposite. I practice that every day in my life and it just does wonders for me. So really what am I asking you to do, gents? First of all, I congratulate all the people who have already taken advantage of this opportunity, but there's a few of you out there that are still kind of, you know, a little apprehensive. Pick up the phone, talk to me on the phone. It's a call that doesn't cost you anything. It's a private call that's designed to offer you two very, very important things. The first thing is what? We're gonna build clarity and direction of what you want and why you want it. Let's take some time and really just focus on this issue. It's eating you away, let's just work on it. Number two, we, you and I, we're going to brainstorm and just identify what exactly are these obstacles that are just getting in your way. And we want to strategize a way to get around these obstacles. I mean, do you realize that these walls that you're putting up are preventing you from what you truly, really want? And we all know what that is. It's keeping you up at night. It keeps you up on... You know what I'm talking about, guys. Is it really fair? I don't think it's fair. You know, a famous quote that I had uh, read once is going to probably, uh, it's really a great quote. It said, walls are put in place to stop everyone else. Not you, everyone else. Think about that for a minute. You know, most guys are just embarrassed and being embarrassed is actually one of those walls that you're putting up. Your embarrassment is a feeling that exists in your mind and in your mind only. That's the truth. You know, just like other bad habits that we all have and that we possess, this is just one of those that's really, in my personal opinion, the most detrimental. You know, it, 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 it's, if it's killing your social life, it's got to be at the top of the list, especially if you're a guy. I mean, let's face it, guys. <laughs> Between you and me, no matter how nice a place you have, no matter how nice a car you drive, no matter how much money you're making at your great job, nine to five, what's the most important thing in your life as a man? I don't even need to answer that question. You all know exactly how I feel. You know exactly what I mean. So, the only reason that you don't have her next to you right now is because of one simple reason. You and I were never formally trained or formally educated on the most important processes of getting her to begin with. That's it. You know, quite frankly, I don't really think uh, we were educated on topics that mattered that really matter. Let's be honest with each other. Instead, what we're doing is studying about, you know, dead presidents and, and uh, tariffs and math without numbers. And of course, my favorite, isoquant curves. 
That is what we've been studied, or been studying. So, you know, I bet that on your personal list of things that you need to know, that list includes how to understand, how to attract, how to display confidence, how to approach, and how to date fantastic women. So you can have that one by your side. That's what it's all about, right? You just want that one wonderful person by your side. And it's not your fault that you don't know this. Again, we just talked about it. It's not formally taught. But it is your fault if you don't educate yourself. It's just that simple. If you continue to feel the pain, knowing that you could have easily refocused your efforts, found a mentor, and just learn these skills once and for all, it's your fault if you don't do that. So here's what I'm going to do. Just like what I did for the ladies, I'm going to do the same for you guys. For the next five days, beginning today, which is what? Wednesday. No, today's Thursday. So we have five days I'm going to make... Uh, make myself available for appointments to discuss your specific needs privately, one-on-one, -on, -one, on the phone. It's that simple. All you have to do is email me directly. Here's my email at the bottom of this video. If you don't already know it, it's mark at killerconfidence.com and you just send me your name, you send me your number, and the best time to call you within 48 hours, and I'll call you. It's that simple. All right? I'm not going to sell you anything. I'm just going to just we're going to talk man to man. So that's your opportunity to take. Until next time, remember this. Courage is doing what you're afraid to do. There can be no courage unless you're scared first. Until next time.